folks today's video is going to be about my small star wars collection hope you like that bit of um stop motion at the beginning folks which was with my uh, most recent edition wasn't it paul mm, the most recent edition yes sir a very fine looking grog this fella was by far the most expensive but um, with a reason mm. what was the reason well, there's a few reasons i mean he's um well, by far the largest and uh the the detail in them is exceptional mm. even you know with his his mouth and his teeth he was a collector's model, wasn't he? Yeah, he's a collector. I mean, the others, all the others I've got were just made as toys. As toys, yeah. For children, mm. whereas this is a collector's model. Is that right? They were toys for children, not the just... others. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, adult, adults do collect them as well, but mm -hmm. they were primarily made right. as children's but the, toys. The, this one was made for collectors, yeah. This is not for children. No. Hmm. And um, one of the problems we had with him, wasn't it, uh, was standing up because he came with this stand for him to stand on. But obviously, I want to do stop motion with him, so I don't want the money stand. Um, and you and Paul made uh, this extra leg for him mm. to help him stand up. He was still falling over, wasn't he? Yeah, so we made a double leg. So he made a, uh, a Mark II. <laughs> And this is the Mark II. And um, when I did that bit of stop motion today, it worked splendidly. And I can even swivel them around like that, yeah, right. which is really, and he still stays up. And I actually did that today. So it's really, really good. Got uh, one at the back and one at the front. Yeah, it worked really well, Paul. Yeah, it's very stable, stop isn't motion. it? Yeah. So, yeah, so this one is. Um, I bet it's your current favourite, isn't it? Or is it? I suppose at the moment he is because he's still new. I've only had him about three weeks. Mm. And because I'm doing stop motion with him, mm. I'm really appreciating, you know, the, um, the articulation and uh, the detail. And the, re uh, the replaceable limbs you've got. Yeah, limbs, I actually you? used both sets of ears today. In that little bit of stop motion yeah, that you yeah, folks saw at yeah. the beginning. I can see some more hands there. Isn't yeah, I'm not. Um, I did. I did use his spare hands in a bit of uh, practice stop motion, but the stop motion I did today is is like, you know, the final result. Yeah. It's what I'm going to use in a longer video when I, I get the rest made. So yeah, it's a, a joy to use in stop motion. Really nice. So that's him. And then uh, I've got two other Grogu's. Just a question, Miss. Recently. Uh, that's obviously smaller, and, and so is the, the third one over there. But this one, um, the one we've just been looking at, the first one, is he life size? Yes, he is. He's life size. So he's not just bigger, he is life size. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's okay. how big he was in the film, which okay. is quite awesome, really, isn't it? Mm. So um, this was the the second from last model that I got, and uh, I actually got him for stop motion before I got this wonderful creature because he's fully poseable in the arms. Mm. He rotate all around and his head, so he was quite nice. I'm doing a little bit of stop motion with no opening mouth before. Oh no, and I mean it's no comparison, mm. no comparison yeah. at all. Mm. Um, but yes, that's why I got him before I got this wondrous. So this was uh, the first Grogu I got. <coughs> that's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's a very nice animatronic. He's got really nice movement. This one. <coughs> Nice sounds as well. 
Hmm. Very cute. With all of these crockers things, that. <laughs> what's a little bit sad about is that with none of them can you sort of dress and this is this is the limit actually being point for Nate being able to put a hoodie on this one. Yeah. Um but they've all got these hard plastic kind of shapeless you know bodies mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one hasn't but you can't take this off. I showed why when I did the unboxing mm -hmm. of them. And that's the one disappointment I've had with these that you can't, that you can't dress them up. Dress them up because uh, I have a lot of fun dressing things mm. up. Um, which leads me on to the first um, models that I got from Star Wars, which were my Milwaukee twins. <laughs> these are fab animatronic. So I got. This one I've called a Mr. Yorks because it remind me of a, a Yorkshire Terrier. And then I, I loved them so much that when the price came down, I decided to get another one and try and make it look a bit feminine so that I could have twins. <laughs> so um, we actually 3D printed some eyelashes. I'll just lie back because we've got sleep eyes. Look at those eyelashes. 3D printed and then I painted a, a nose so the nose was a bit different and uh, give her a bit of nail varnish on the nails there um, and I, I didn't brush her so I brushed out all the sort of um, yeah, hair lacquer out that? of mm. this one so but I left it on her so mm. they look more different and these two are actually really great to dress yeah, um, they're like really color. nice size. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Yorks here is, is donning some Star Wars trousers <laughs> and he's got a Yoda t shirt. Oh. And that's Builder Bear. He fits Builder Bear brilliantly. He looks so good in clothes, doesn't he? Mm. And then um, his twin sister. Is actually wearing baby clothes, so that that this is sort of premi wear for a real baby, <laughs> and she fit it fits her. So yeah, they 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 really great to dress. That's one of the things I love about these, and um, I like the fact that they've got sleep eyes, and I like the fact that a lot of people when this came out, people were saying, "What's happened to Chewbacca's legs? Because his legs are like really short." <laughs> But I like it because it makes them look like they're very young. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like a baby Wookiee. Uh -huh. And uh, I'll just wake these two up. I still think they're really, really good fun. And they're nice because they can sort of move and they don't fall over because they've got such huge feet. Um. Be nice because they respond to sound. Mr. York's batteries have just run out. Uh, but one thing that they do is they respond to sound. So, um, York Etter here is uh, responding to my voice. That's why she's uh, talking away at the moment. And you can actually get them like having a conversation together mm -hmm. and they eventually start mm -hmm. singing to one another. Even have a conversation with Alexa from what I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still think these two are really great models. And um you know how they used to be Yoda and then they brought out Grogu, who's a baby. It would be really nice if they brought out oh, a baby Wookiee, like in the Star Wars series. Oh, yeah. So we had Chewbacca, who was a Wookiee, but wouldn't it be lovely if they brought in another mm. Wookiee, but it was a baby Wookiee, how cute that could be. I mm. wonder if there's any plans for that. What do you reckon, Paul? I think the baby Wookiee doesn't sound yeah. right. Well, I think it sounds just perfect. <laughs> And uh, so finally, the last two in my collection are a couple of pogs. 
to take one of these out for a walk. It one, was uh, it? this one, because that's the only one that's an animatronic. Right. Uh, this this one, William, he has sounds, <laughs> but no movement. But uh, I really liked his uh, styling. I thought he, he, he was sort of the cutest pog I'd seen. He's got oh. such a cute face. Oh. And um, this... That was a fun by Funko, that one. Not been saying who these are by. That was Funko. These two were Hasbro. This was uh, Hot Toys. And these two were Hasbro. And this last one's Hasbro. This last oh, Hasbro pork. really like, like the Star Wars. Well, they've got their, um, what do you call, the licence, haven't mm. they? Yeah. yeah, we actually took this fella for a walk, didn't we, one day? Yeah. Put him on a leader. Outside folks. On I can't the remember how, he, how does he move? Has he got wheels? Yeah, he's uh, got two wheels and he sort of, is it beveled you call it Paul? So well, he wobbles well, a bit. Off, they're off centre aren't they? Yeah. Centric. But he, he does need a flat. Uh, oh, yes. See, he's fine if he's on a flat surface. <laughs> he doesn't like carpet. Looks a bit surreal all those groggy parts down there. <laughs> the total of my collection <laughs> so that's it for this video so far this total so far you might have more yeah this uh, i've got seven and um yeah maybe there's more to come it all depends on what happens with star wars and if they bring out you know Invent some more cute creatures. It's pretty good, Seven, for somebody who's not really a Star Wars fan. <laughs> hasn't watched them all. I'm not, I'm not, a, that, not really a Star Wars fan. I just love the creatures that they mm. come up with. Mm. So, folks, that's it for this uh, little collection video. Uh, thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time. Oh. <laughs> I always wanted to go over that other way. He's not being trained yet, is he? <laughs>